Well, I really felt this lightning strike. I was on the building site last week and uh, there was just a flash and a bang. I knew it was close, but then I found this pine tree. It's about uh, 25 years old. It was only a couple of hundred meters away from where I was. And it's, the whole top's been blown out of the tree. And you can see that the electricity blew off the bark, but it followed the grain. So we've got a spiral grain pine here, which meant that it wouldn't have been very good for structural timber anyway. Uh, so I'll take this one down and inspect it. When we talk about lightning strikes and trees, farmers often tell me that uh, it's very hard to burn timber that's been hit by lightning. And uh, I think it's because the cell structure is, is so damaged that it ends up just being a, a pulpy mess inside. And it's very hard to dry timber if there's no solid connection between the cells. So when you pull water out of timber, it's got to drag it from somewhere. And if it's, a, if it's like a sponge or a broken cells inside, you wouldn't be able to extract the water. So I don't think there's any chemical change as a result that makes it difficult to burn. But uh, we, we're not gonna burn Pinus radiata for firewood. It's too dangerous in terms of a flu fire, too much resin. And we've got plenty of other decent timber that we grow on the farm for firewood. Uh, so this will just be an interesting one to saw up and see what I can find inside. Lightning strikes, don't run and stand under a tree because you, you could be hit by that. Uh, it might be better to, to get indoors and I shouldn't have been outside at the time. Anyway, that's an interesting observation.